to Paul B Travel. Christ the Redeemer 2.0. It's nice and loud. It's cheaper to drink beers. Shame, mate. Hola. Hey, everyone. You may notice we are down to two. Yes, we've lost Lana and Liz. Our good companions have gone home, but I'm sure we'll travel again with them soon. We've got the sads a bit. A little bit sad. That's okay. We're um, on the road for a change instead of flying. Yes, back to Paul B Travel. Um, <laughs> so today we took a bus from Medellin to Yarden, three and a half hours, and then we just found our hotel, left our bags there till we can check in. And now we're gonna go get to, where are you going? Sorry. <laughs> gonna Walking go get a cup of coffee. Yeah, what a wild ride from uh, Medi in the yard. And Kelsey oh, yeah. managed to sleep through most of it, which is pretty impressive. I got up at 2.30 to see Blaine off this morning and I didn't go back to sleep, so I- Out of it. Out of it. But it was a very windy road. Yeah, anyway, we're here now. Let's we're go in, check it out. Yeah, out of the city, <laughs> into a little town, beautiful little mountain town, colonial, lots of colors. It's gonna be a great time. Yeah. This morning. We got an upside down swan. Good morning. Day two in Yarden. We are coffee, breakfast, well rested. 10 hours last night. Very good, very good. And today we have three activities that we want to do. The first one we're starting on now, we're going on a little hike. It's a bit of a mini trail this one. We're putting a lot of faith in um, the map. So it's abundantly clear this is the first exercise we've done in a while. It's very steep, but we've made it halfway to the Statue of Christ. I'm calling it Christ the Redeemer 2.0. <laughs> Let's go. Jetty's pooped. He didn't believe me when I said this was only halfway. Off we go. Good friggin' news. We don't have to go up that side of the thing. We need to just walk flat over to the other one. So watch out for the cow poo, it's everywhere. We made it. Ready for a coffee after one heck of a hike up the hill. We'll, um, we'll get a good shot of where we started from up here. Down there, that's where we started. Walked over little Christy boys over there, 2.0, and then we walked up here. On the way back down. On the way back down. Some cows for company. Lovely, let's go. We're walking around Yard and all of the houses are painted a different colour. It is really cool. Very pretty. Bonita. So activity dos, number two. La Garuda. It is dodgy AF, but um, look, if we live, it'll be one hell of a story. It's a cable car, a very skinny little cable car. It's pulley, it's on a pulley system. It used to be used to transport plantains and coffee and now it's for sightseeing and for people. I don't know if it's, uh, it's right for people, but we're gonna do it. 10,000 cop each, two up, two down. Here she comes. Back across the gorge. 
is deep down there. Very slow moving. Here we go. No sudden movements. Keep your hands inside the vehicle. At all times. Good luck everyone. It's a rough old ride. It's a smoothest ride, but it's nice and loud. Here we are. We have arrived. Just gotta get out. Nice. Gracias. It's a little pulley system. It's our little chariot. Having a quiet bevy on top of the gondola ride. How much was your orange juice, Kelsey? 5,000 pesos. Pops. Colombian pesos. And I've got a beer for 4,000. So it's cheaper to drink beers. Okay. We're, we're drinking cheap. <laughs> and enjoying a lovely beer. From one side of the valley all the way over there to the other. Activity dos done and dusted. That was one hell of a ride. Back down into town. Uh, now we've got a little bit of time on our hands before activity tres. So we'll walk around, maybe get some lunch. Maybe Hungry? Eat. We'll see. Could eat. Yeah, gotta get them steps up. Pretty quiet. Hope it comes with the spare plate. Maybe I'll go check. Activity three for the day. Opens at 3 p.m. It's 2.52. <sighs> So we're just waiting till they open. We're going to a person's house who's planted all these trees that attract this really rare bird called the cock of the crown. No, cock of the brow. What was it? I don't know. Brow of the cock? Crown of the cock? Something with cock in it. National bird of Peru. We are in Colombia still. But in the afternoon, they do this thing called lecking, which is their mating call. And apparently they're really rare. But this family's planted all these trees that attract this bird, so you can just pay them a little money. Sit down, have a coffee, and watch some birds get it on. But we have to wait six minutes. Can't wait. We got in. It's cock of the rock, not cock of the crown. 24,000 pesos for both of us. And I think the lady just told us there's two down here at the moment. But more will come about 4 p.m. Settled in for some bird watching. Patience nice. is key. Nice and shady spot. A little river running below us. Many mosquitoes. Like you are up to date with our malaria pills. Now we just wait for the birds. Our first hop of the rock has landed right above us. He's so close to us. Right above our heads. Our second little mate. Pretty good. So, we've been sitting here for about half an hour. Half an hour. Um, two of them have landed right next to us. They are the weirdest looking things. They've got this crown on top of their heads. Um, that kind of makes it very hard to see which way they're looking. But um, maybe that's where they get their name from. Probably needs to do a bit more research. What do you mean maybe? The Cock of the Rock? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a there's thing. There's no doubt about it. That that's where they it. get their name from. You learn something new every day. Anyway, hopefully we get to see a heap more. These two have been pretty entertaining. Supposedly, they're very social creatures. They like to hang out with one another a bit. So. Get 
them just tried to do the deed and fell out of the tree. They're making a mating call, which is like a bit of a screech. We think the males are very orange and pretty. And the girls are... That was the call, if you just heard it, that little meow. And the girls um, look similar, but a lot darker in colour. Not as much orange, vibrant orange. End of activity three, the little bird sanctuary that I've got here is really something special. There's a, a lovely little garden to walk through. Um, the birds didn't really rock up till just after four, but now they're here, they're, they're having a blast. Um, I saw a little hummingbird when I was walking through the garden. Hopefully you can hear me over the sound of the waterfall that's um, down the bottom of the valley here. It's like you're in the middle of the rainforest. It's really cool. Out for dinner. This way. I think it's this way. Hey, ready for dinner. Yardin, we're all done. Only short and sweet, just over 24 hours. Yeah, nice, nice day here. The um, Saturday night, uh, the crowds are full swing in the middle of town and party buses and stuff going around, but uh, we need to go to bed and start a new day tomorrow, early. Also, just got some fantastic news. Our best friends just had their baby. Yeah! Little boy, he's all healthy and so is mum, and it's just great news. Love you, Benamogs, and little Huddy.